Number one, he loved reading. And what is another reason why Bill Gates is similar to Thomas Edison? Perseverance, right. So please write down. Persevere. So they are both persevere, but they never ever give up. Isn't there anybody who didn't stop working for many hours for making something? Oh, David, what did you do? Going for invention. Yeah. Did you make something new? Oh, so did you spend like three days or four days overnight? Two days overnight, right? Eddie, did you do something for many hours and you didn't stop working because of that one? Have you ever done that? Homework, how many hours have you worked? Twelve. Oh, what? Kevin, how many hours have you played computer game without stopping? <laughs> Oh, you don't do computer game. Is there anybody who like to play computer game? Oh. So oh, actually, I, I asked the same question to other class people. Well, I didn't play. You don't play computer game. You play well, cell phone game. Yeah. But I play. You played uh, computer play game before. So there was a student, and then he's probably now a high school student. But he said, oh, teacher, when my mom and dad went traveling, I was alone in my house and I was really happy and for 72 hours I, I kept playing game without stopping. It was actually vacation. So he didn't have two hours. Yeah. So he said he didn't, he didn't even sleep, he didn't eat and he kept playing computer games for 72 hours. Yeah, we can't believe it. All right, so let's just move on to the next question. Um, do you guys have raw models? No. Mom. You have nobody to respect you. Mom? Yes. Oh, uh, David, so why do you respect your mother? Oh, uh, you know what? Yesterday, the, the answer I heard the most was myself. Because I'm the genius. Like, that. Uh, oh my gosh. All right. Um, I will show you guys some examples of the raw models. Okay. All right. So these are examples of the raw models. Hmm. Ah, Kimon Ban, right. So Pan Kimon will be a great example because he's the delegate general in UN. Who are, oh yeah, he's something bad though. Yeah. So who are these people? Yeah, President Lincoln, Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, right? These are role models. So do you know why Lincoln is considered as American role model? Yeah. Why? <laughs> he saved slavery. Yeah. Better than why Gandhi is very popular to people. Do you know Gandhi's background? Is he from a poor family or wealthy family? Poor. No, Gandhi's families are kings, relatives, kings' relatives. So he's Gandhi. <laughs> Don't say that. Gandhi's Kanjina, right? Don't say that, right? So Gandhi is like uh, uh, Gandhi was a uh, like a boy who who had a silver spoon family, right? And he was well educated. You know what? He studied in London. And yeah. he went to law school. He is really bright and that he had a great family. Oh, why However, he, he fought for freedom. Why he cut the hair? Oh, if he not he cut the hair, he will send some <laughs> And then who was Nelson Mandela? South American? Present, right. So what did he fight for? He fought for discrimination, right? And then freedom as well. 
So these are examples of raw models, and nowadays we have some other examples of the raw models, like this person, Steve Jobs. So why do we uh, try to accept uh, Steve Jobs as a raw model? He's smart uh, because he made a smartphone. He made a smartphone. He was creative, right? So Kelly, who did a great thing. Um, he was very creative, right? Uh huh. And he but tried to think different. different. He tried to think outside of the box, right? So, your role models what? No. Yoon no. Dong Ju. <gasps> did you watch the movie Dong Ju? No. no. You love his poem. <gasps> wow, it's really hard to see a boy who like to read a poem. Oh my gosh. No, you like to write poems. Ooh. It's really hard to understand. There's a there's a student who like to read and write poem in this classroom. Because uh, I mean uh, around my friends it's really hard to see boys or even girls who like to read and write a lot nowadays. What? What? You like to read and write? No. So uh -huh. barely we barely see you hardly see friends who spend time to read the she. And what Davy said is be like this, teacher, I like to write down poems and I like to read the poems. I like to write, but I don't, don't like to read. read. Right, so very, he's very romantic and he's very sentimental, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, another type of, everybody, I'll show you guys my role model. Okay. I really like this harmony. Oh. Audrey Hepburn? Yeah, Audrey Hepburn. She's very pretty, right? Oh, pretty, pretty. <gasps> Are you serious? Yeah. So Audrey Hepburn was a great actress, but not only um, great actress, she was a fundraiser as well as activist. She was a philanthropist. So uh, she tried to help poor children in Africa. Um, when she became grandmother, she spent almost eighty. Oh, <laughs> she's still pretty, isn't it? Oh, I don't she was eighty in this oh, picture. Oh, she died. She's dead. Right? I did. Oh, like a... <laughs> oh, guys, she's really pretty compared to other grandmothers. Look around the other harmonies; they are so different. Right? Oh, I really love this picture. Anyway, she's a raw model. So this time, we have to think about your role models. So, um, can you guys tell me what kind of role models do you guys have? No? Yes, I have. Alice, do you have a role model? No. Hera? No, oh, what role model do you have? Uh, Lee Sung Kyung model, the actress. All right, let's write down Lee Sung Kyung. So why do you look up to her? Oh, um, pretty? Smart? <laughs> uh, how do I have to write down? E, yeah. Song, young, right? <laughs> so, what is the reason, Hera? Uh huh. Pretty as well as? Uh huh. And <coughs> uh, good at acting, right? I guess she's really like, um, how can I say? She's kind of very smart. Like she knows how to be attractive. Um, Kevin, so what role model do you have? Oh, Michael. Michael Jordan. Ooh. <laughs> MJ. <laughs> oh, not Michael Jackson, guys. Michael Jordan. So why do you respect to uh, respect Michael Jordan? Oh, I love so Do you like NBA? Yes. Stephen Curry. Uh, Stephen Curry. And then, James, like, James, uh, James, uh, James Lubron. Uh, yeah, Lubron. So, hey. Michael Jordan was a great. Yes, he was a great <laughs> um, basketball player. And then, guys, he has a great leadership. Yes. Yeah. So, we'll just follow my answer, Kevin. What? Eddie, do you have anyone? No, no you. No. David, can you tell me any examples? Oh, uh, you said Yun Dong Ju, right? <laughs> <laughs> or 